Oh my god, guys, I love this. I really feel like I'm sitting with you guys and we are connecting on a deeper level. We get like closer, like we're building a relationship. Guys, this is great. <laughs> so I was on live today, um, on YouTube live, and somebody asked me a question and was like, oh, how did you deal with um, insecurities and trust issues from your old relationship with your new partner? And I thought, you know what? Why not make a video on it, along with other questions that you guys may have about me, or my family, or my life. But before we begin... Hi guys! I forgot to say hello. I'm sorry. Hi. 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 Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel, guys. So, Johan's just gone out. Oh my god, if you see my belly, I'm so sorry, but I've had two kids. So, Johan's just gone out. Um... Wait, before we start, let's just do this properly because I really need to start doing these introductions properly and just stop being so rude. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave because this channel's lit. You know, duh. And if you're not new here, then welcome back. Thank you guys for joining me again on another lit video. Hope you're all good. So, let's get straight to it. For anybody that's got any hate and comments about my whoa, aka my boyfriend, I'm doing it well. Although I actually broke my neck, I think, so I need to chill. <laughs> Let's just get right into it. This is literally just going to be, well, all my videos are unrehearsed, clearly, because they're always a mess. But this is going to be the most unrehearsed, just like, going with the flow video, literally just chatting to you guys. Because I feel like I really enjoy that, and I feel like I like it when you guys get to know me better. So I went to my friend's house today, hadn't seen her in a year. Got home, um, Jojo, you know what, his real name is Johan, just letting you guys know that, but he likes to be named Jojo. Don't know why, because Johan's a beautiful name, but anyways. Jojo went out um, tonight with his friends, his friend is performing somewhere, so he's gone out, so I've basically got the house to myself, apart from the fact that both my kids are sleeping. So I thought, perfect way to make a video, because he's always in the living room playing FIFA, and I've actually got the living room to myself, so great so i'm just gonna i don't know i'm just gonna start from anywhere literally just kind of like answering some of the questions you guys gave me and just kind of going into it um i've had someone ask me like are you and joe married are you pregnant that was one of the biggest questions which i'm actually gonna touch base on that but anyways so yeah let's get right to it i'm literally just rambling on i don't even know how i'm gonna start this this is what happens when you don't rehearse stuff okay anyways cool we're gonna start with pregnant i don't know if I'm pregnant, to be completely honest with you. Um, me and Joe have actually been trying for a baby. And it's something that I wasn't going to put out there because, as you all know, I don't know, when you're trying to get pregnant, and even when you are pregnant, it's not something that you should announce until you've passed the three-month stage because of evil eye and blah, blah, blah. But you know when your faith is so strong that evil eye can't touch you or your family or your plans for your future? So, yeah, me and Joe are actively trying for a baby. The reason why we decided we wanted the baby is that I want all my children to be close together in age. And if I don't have a baby now, I will have one in like the next 10 years, honestly. And I don't want to do, I don't want to like start my career and then after that have to start all over from scratch and be back to changing nappies and blah, blah, blah. So whilst Enzo is still young, let me suffer with two young kids because Jaden's grown now, like he's six. He's so easy to look after because he's so well behaved with me and Joe. So he's fine. But I thought, let's just suffer with two young kids for now and then just get it over with and then just like live our best life in our 30s. So we are actively trying for a baby and I'm super excited to give my sons another sibling. I'm really praying for a girl. I don't know if I'm pregnant. So for those asking, I genuinely don't know. I hope I am, fingers crossed. So I'm going to stop like drinking. I should be not like, I should not be drinking anyways, but... Whilst I'm trying, I'm going to stop because I don't know if I am and so I don't want to risk it and be drinking because when I was pregnant with Enzo, I was actually drinking quite a lot in the beginning of the pregnancy. Like every time I went out, I would be like taking shots and blah, blah, blah. Then I found out I was pregnant and I was like, great. So yeah, I'm going to just chill with that and just be a good girl. Me and Joe are not married yet. Um, I know that's like, <gasps> you're a Christian and you got kids and you're not married. Listen, I think that everyone has different views on marriage and... Yes, 100%. Because of my religion, you should be married before having kids, um, before having sex, in fact. And, you know, that's just not what's happening here. It's the thing where I had already started, and obviously me and Joe are going to get married. Uh, we've spoken about marriage. We're going to get married, guys. But as of yet, we are not married. But that is my husband, regardless. That's my future, Abby. 
that my baby daddy. Now that we've cleared that up, I think that with this next baby, I feel like for me, I'm done. I don't know about him, but he, if he wants another baby, I guess he can get pregnant by himself if he wants. Joe, that's up to you. If you want to carry the baby, push the baby out, that's fine. But for me, I'm done after this one. So me and Joe, I feel like I haven't really spoken about our relationship. I just kind of went on YouTube and was just like, this is my partner. Me and Joe met in 2015. I was about to say we're now currently in 2019. Like, Though. Me and Joe, we met in 2015 and in 2015 was when I was going through a breakup with my first partner. I'm gonna call him, I'm not actually gonna say his real name because I don't feel like that's fair to put someone's name out there when they haven't asked to be put out there and also because of obviously like my other story time about like being abused and stuff, I genuinely don't want somebody to like go find him and like DM him abuse and stuff so we're gonna call him George. Okay. So. I was going through a breakup with Jamie's dad, George, and um, that is when I met Johan. But the thing is that when I met Johan, we did not meet and like was attracted to each other or anything like that. It was nothing like that. Joe was actually like not my type and I don't think I was his type either to be honest. I don't know why because I'm pretty and pink so it's weird. I think he's like, I think I was his type. But um, yeah, so we met in a club. <laughs> But the thing is, is that I basically saw him on Twitter and he used to always be on my TL and he was just, you know that bait Twitter person that's just like really funny and everyone's always like retweeting him. He wasn't bait bait, but he was just always on my TL because he was just funny. And I remember I like went on his page and I was just like, oh my God, this guy is so funny. Like he was so funny. And so I followed him and um, he didn't follow me back. What the hell? I'm still annoyed about it up to this day. He didn't follow me back. And then one day I was at a club and I noticed him and I was like, oh my God, I'm such a huge fan. I follow you on Twitter. But I was like, oh my God, like you're that guy from Twitter. And he thought he was so cool. He was like, yeah, like what are you saying? Blah, 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 blah. And yeah, like we got to talking. I was like, yeah, like I follow you on Twitter. Like you don't follow me back. Like what the hell? And then we were talking and we just clicked, like clicked. Then we danced on each other in a club and it was just like, Mm. Okay, seriously, let me be serious for a while. We danced on each other in a club, but for some reason, like, there was still no attraction there. I don't know why, because my whining was impeccable, so... Whatever. So from then, we just spoke every single day, like, every day. And, like, the way we were speaking was as if we'd known each other for years and years and years. Like, he was the male version of me, and I was the female version of him. Like, every single time he was going out, he was like, yo, like, let's go out, blah, blah, blah. What are you saying? Me and my boys are going out. Like, this Friday, blah, 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 blah. I was like, yeah, 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 I'm down, down, down. We just had, like, the best time, the best banter, the best friendship, and we just became best friends for, like, a whole year. Literally, like, best of friends. I, I really, like, loved and cared for Joe long before we got into any kind of relationship, and I feel like that is why our relationship is so amazing now, because we were besties. So we got into a relationship knowing what we were like, but it was still quite difficult because I had a lot of trust issues from my last relationship. In my last relationship, um, it was like abusive, like physically, mentally, etc, etc. And I got cheated on um, two weeks after I gave birth. Yeah, I got cheated on. The thing is, I was living with George. <laughs> George. I was living with George. And so I, we was with each other like 24-7. It was a really toxic relationship. Like... We weren't allowed to go out, weren't allowed to have like, I wasn't allowed to have male friends, he wasn't allowed to have female friends. It was just really, really toxic. So I thought like, for such a toxic relationship and we're literally with each other 24 seven because I'm not allowed to go out, there's no way he's cheating on me because when are you finding time to cheat on me? Please, let me know. The only way you can cheat on me is literally with the flipping shopkeeper. I don't know how he managed, he managed. Anyways, so he cheated on me two weeks after I gave birth with his ex-girlfriend and I only found out like two years after the breakup. So by the time I find out, didn't give a shit whatever. During the relationship, there were still a lot of things that he was doing that was making me think like, what the hell are you? Obviously, like, I was right at the time. He made me feel like I was crazy, but I was right. You lied. You got caught. Anyways, we're not going to make this video about him. Point is, he done a lot of effed up stuff in our relationship, cheating, lying, etc, etc, etc. And so obviously, I had really bad trust issues. He never trusted me. And when somebody doesn't trust you throughout the whole relationship and is forever accusing you, it starts to impact you and have a really big effect on you and then you start having doubts and you start having trust issues. But his trust issues rubbed off on me and then I left that relationship with so many effed up problems and it was just, it wasn't, I wasn't ready for a relationship basically because I had a lot of working on me to do. 
I had a lot of self-love to learn. Does that make sense? I just had a lot of work to do and I didn't do it. And I just like a year after I got into a relationship, which a year may sound like a lot, but when you've just come from a four year relationship and had a baby with the person, you need a lot longer to heal. But I got into that relationship and I felt like it was the right moment because it wasn't just a guy that I met and was just like getting to know on a relationship level. It was like my bestie, like, I love you, but like, marry me. So, got into that relationship and to be honest with you, in the beginning, our relationship was, ab I'm talking about Jojo now, by the way. Our relationship was amazing. Like, it was actual relationship goals. Because we would like go out, we would still go out in a relationship like every weekend and it was literally like we were boys. Like, if you saw us, you would actually think that we're, we're friends. Because that was my G. He still is my G, like what? That was my G and it was just amazing. It was, I wasn't used to it. I was, I was like, this is too healthy. What, what is this? This is way too healthy. Relax. Let's sprinkle some toxicness, please. Thank you. <laughs> I obviously brought my toxic ways into the relationship. I brought my trust issues into the relationship and it started happening when we moved in together. So we got into a relationship in August and we moved in together in December. So I think it was like four or five months. Yeah, we moved pretty fast. So we moved in together and that's when, you know, uh, I don't know. I would say it was my fault. Um, we started arguing more, etc., etc. It took a long time for me to start trusting him. And the thing is, is that he never gave me any reason not to trust him. It was nothing to do with him. It was me and my problems from my old relationship. And then I had like daddy issues as well. I don't know if anybody knows what daddy issues is but uh, I can't be asked to get into that. So it's just like all the men in my life had disappointed me, had lied to me, had betrayed me, had cheated on me, like what the fuck? Do you want any more? Do you want my soul? Well, clearly my dad did. Yeah, like I just brought my insecurities into the relationship and Joe was like, I feel like any guy would have run a mile and been like, what? you're crazy. First of all, you have a kid. That's number one. You lucky I even took you in. Number two, you're crazy, like, bye. But because we were best friends and he knew that I was like, he knew me, like the real me, like inside. And he knew that I was, I'm not gonna start blowing my own horn, but you know, he knew. He was very patient with me and he said that there's nothing that's gonna make him leave, like he loves me and blah, blah, blah. And obviously with my ex, he used to tell me that no one's gonna, want me after him, like he's the, he's the only man that's ever gonna love me, etc, etc. So when I heard Joe telling me that he loves me and blah, 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 I pushed him away more because I was like, no, you don't love me. Because in my head, I was like, my ex told me that no one would love me. So why is this man standing here lying to me and telling me he loves me? No, like no one can love me, blah, blah, blah. Like I kind of just didn't have, and that's what I mean. Like you can't get into a relationship if you don't love yourself because you're not gonna believe that anyone else is gonna love you. And it's just not okay. But I was lucky enough to actually be with someone that was patient and that truly loved me. And I think that's down to the fact that we were friends before because if we if we wasn't friends before and we were actually getting to know each other on a relationship level, he definitely would have run a mile and been like, please. Yeah, being friends paid like the most massive factor. And for me, what helped me get over my insecurities and my trust issues was reassurance. And it took, I, I took a lot of time to reflect on myself and be like, I had to talk to myself and talk, like talk some sense into myself and just be like, okay, you've been through this, you've been through this. Like, you have to realize at one point that your partner's not doing anything wrong, it's all you, and you're gonna end up pushing that person away. And I felt like the thought of losing Joe is what made me like pat myself up and just seeing how patient he is. And I just felt like, imagine pushing this guy away and him actually like, me losing him and him actually meeting someone else. It's like, this guy is so amazing. Like, I genuinely like can't let this guy go. Like, I have to fix up. And he lit. The right person will help you become the better you, if that makes sense. Not everyone is gonna be patient enough to like grow with you and be patient, but I feel like the right person will, do you know what I mean? And that's why I really feel like Joe is my actual, actual soulmate. And not only is he, is he my soulmate in a relationship type of, in a relationship sense, but he's also my soulmate, like my soulmate, like my actual mate. Like, he's actually my soulmate. Like, I feel like God actually was like, okay, let me birth Joe, let me birth Sarah, and you guys are gonna meet somewhere in life and be together forever and have loads of babies and be happy married. Okay, bye. Um, and right now, like, we've been together for three years and a half. I just feel like our relationship, as it, as time goes, it only gets better. Like, every year it gets better and better and better. And I feel like this year has probably been the best year for us. I feel like 
we're back to like in the beginning of the relationship like my trust issues like it used to be a thing where like he couldn't go out clubbing without me just talking the most shit he couldn't go on holiday like he couldn't do this he couldn't do that and i realized that like okay when your ex george was putting you through that how did that make you feel do you really want to put him through that and impact his mental health as well like the way the way that you were treated you're now treating someone else like that and you know how i feel so why would you go do it to somebody else do you know what i mean and that's when i realized that i'm actually gonna be it's gonna be it's it's emotional abuse what i'm doing if that makes sense trapping someone and it's toxic you're affecting them mentally it's a it's a type it's a it's a form of abuse 100 percent. and so i realized that i don't want to abuse this guy i don't want to do him how my ex done me like i want to break the cycle and um be in a healthy and happy relationship because i deserve that and he's actually willing to give that to me so what am i doing so anybody that has trust issues in relationships it does kind of start within yourself unless obviously your partner is giving you reason not to trust them it really does start with yourself like you really need to ask yourself like what you want are you going to keep pushing away every guy because of your insecurities and also just don't get into relationship if you have trust issues genuinely don't you really need to work on yourself you really really do and oh my god i actually thank god for johan because i feel like if i got into a relationship with the wrong person after my ex i could have gotten worse from that do you know what i mean i've genuinely got a loving loyal amazing man who's taken on my son as his own and is literally like the best stepfather ever and the best father to our son and it's just like i feel like i just have my perfect like little family and i'm just I'm genuinely super happy, not saying that we don't argue because like everybody argues, but it's just normal, it's part of life, it's part of a relationship, marriage, fiance, husband, wife, whatever, friends argue, like everybody argues, so it's okay, as long as we're happy. But yeah, so hopefully that's cleared that up and hopefully after this video you're no longer insecure, no I'm joking, of course it's not that easy. Flipping heck mate. I've been talking for ages. I also feel like in the beginning of the relationship, I was home a lot because obviously like I was pregnant and then I gave birth. So I wasn't like, I didn't have my own social life. So to see Joe have a social life and go out and do this, this, that, I feel like I became really insecure and jealous. And so I projected that onto him and was like, oh, how comes he's always out? Like, what's he doing? What's he seeing? Blah, blah, blah. Now recently, I've started to like have my own social life and go see my friends and go out and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, like this is normal. I'm not cheating, so it's normal. You can go see your friends. We've been good for a really long time, to be honest, and that's why I feel so like confident and open to talk about my relationship because I'm talking about a past issue that I had like years ago, and now we're at an amazing place. And so I can I can look back and talk about it because somebody else could be going through that as well. Like I said, I feel like I need to repeat it again. I'm not saying me and Johan have a perfect relationship because we do not. Okay. Just putting out there, we do not. There's times where I'm like, fuck you, like what? Like you broke my heart, like what? No, <laughs> I swear I'm joking. Oh my god, I need to stop. But yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna leave it here and close out. I feel like, yeah, this video was just basically explaining, I guess, my family dynamic kind of thing. And um, oh yeah, another thing. So, like, like I said, I'm not gonna talk too much about my, um, about Jaden's dad because I feel like. I don't know. I guess I am allowed because it's my story as well. Like, I'm not given any information about him. But um, at the moment, we don't have a relationship. Um, we actually used to have a really bad one, but right now it's like, it's neutral. And he sees Jaden twice a week. And then me and Joe have him five times a week. And then holidays, like, me and Joe have him. And so far, it's working out well. I mean, I'm really thankful that I've got Joe to help me at home because it would be really hard of obviously me myself and two kids like I feel like you know like obviously when you break up with your baby dad like the father of your child or the mother of your child or whatever and you're like the the main carer it gets really hard because you do kind of feel like you're doing everything by yourself and like one day or two days a week doesn't help but because I've got Joe I feel like I'm not lacking help if that makes sense like Joe fills that void if that makes sense I feel like I've got that 24 7 dad that's like hands on so i feel really lucky and blessed hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you like these kind of sit downs let me know because i'm starting to really like them 
I feel like I could talk on and on and on and on, but I need to chill because if I continue talking, you guys are gonna know what my dog's name is, my cat's name, my uncle, aunties, granddads, ancestors, like everyone's names because I just babble on and on and on. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Before you leave, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you haven't already, go and follow me on Instagram. My handle, I'm gonna put it down here. It's at Tantanya B. Just follow me just because. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great evening and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys. This is... Bye guys.